All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode or welcome to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And uh, what we got going on this morning is uh, we're here just uh, on the sand and uh, I rode my quiet cat uh, a couple miles down the beach to get to this spot. And uh, I caught a bunch of bait earlier this morning at around like 5 a.m. So uh, we're probably gonna toss that around in this uh, outgoing current that we got right now. And uh, I think we only have like two hours left of the outgoing tide. So we kind of got to get to it and see if we can get on a bite before this water goes slack. But uh, before we start fishing with the bait, uh, I also brought my surf rod with uh, this popper tied on. So uh, I'm gonna try casting this around first just to see if maybe we can get like a big jack on top or you know something big on top because it's uh, just you know around 7 a.m. it's still early so I think you know if there is any chance for a top water bite now is the time so uh, let's get to plug in and uh, then we'll probably you know fish the bait uh, maybe in like 10 15 minutes so let's catch them up then. so what we got tied on here is this uh, Yozuri mag popper and uh, it's got some great uh, popping action and really pushes a lot of water, creates a lot of bubbles. So I think this will be perfect uh, to draw up a strike from a big hungry jack if he's here. And uh, you know, there's also a possible chance maybe for like a big barracuda or uh, if we're like extremely lucky, maybe a uh, tarpon, but I highly doubt it. And I'm throwing this uh, popper on my nine foot dark matter Fishaholic Surf Series spinning rod paired with the number five Visser spinning reel. Oh, this rip looks so good right here. There's no way that there isn't any like big predator fish cruising through here that could eat this, but it's just a matter of will they eat it? You know, I probably gotta just put it in front of the right hungry one. I just took about a hundred casts with this popper and not even a swirl. So I also uh, brought the fly rod today, so we might toss that around for a little bit. But uh, for now, what I wanna do is uh, rig up this uh, Dark Matter Fishaholic Inshore Series spinning rod with the 51 Visser Van Stahl with a little float rig to uh, fish our little baits. All right, so for bait, uh, I think we've got like two dozen Maharas and I also caught one lone little greeny which uh, will be perfect. But uh, I wanna try one of the larger Maharas in here. Most of them I caught were really small, but I caught a couple that are like this size here. There we go. Let's catch them. So this bait should just drift with uh, the outgoing tide. And uh, as it drifts, hopefully there'll be, you know, fish just facing into the current and this bait will go right past them and they'll pounce on it. Oh, bobber is down. Oh, what was that? 
Hmm. Something tried to eat our bait and he left a big gash in him. Look at that. Oh, just got bit. Oh, I lost them. Hmm. All right, well, I made a slight modification and uh, switched to a heavier float. So maybe that'll help us just cast a little bit further and uh, the float will hang better in the current because uh, the last one was, it was getting blown around a lot more. This bait, we're catching a fish on. It's bound to happen. Oh, bobber is down. There's a fish. Woo! Feels pretty good. Finally, got a nice fish. yeah this is a good snook i think <sighs> haven't seen it yet oh no he's trying to pull me right out to some boulders that are right here <sighs> i gotta baby this fish because i only got 30 pound leader <sighs> oh stay hooked baby please stay hooked Oh yeah, it's a nice snook. She does not want to give up. Come on, baby, come on. I'm gonna throw you back. I just want to get a hold of you. Oh, look at that fatty right there. Oh, that's such a nice fish. Not very long, but super thick. Circle hook did its job. put the measurement on the screen and have to measure uh, my rod later. He's measuring from the butt end of the rod to just past the uh, M for medium power on the rod. All right, I just uh, set up this camera here so I can give you a, a little closer look at this super healthy and really thick fish. Oh, the colors are just so gorgeous. Now let's get her back. There she goes. Whew. All right, my morning is made. Oh, something just ate the bait. There he is. Woo! 
Good little rip right there. What do we got? Oh, we got a barracuda. Good little surprise. And look at this. Oh. And look at the circle hook. Perfectly right through the nose. So that's why this fish didn't cut us off. Sweet. There he goes. All right, well, pretty sweet. We uh, could add one more fish to the board for today. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we're cutting this video a little shorter than uh, normally because uh, I can't fish all day today. Uh, if I could, I definitely would, but I probably would have went to another area. I came to this area on purpose because I really just wanted to hit like the end of the outgoing and uh, I thought it could have been, you know, lights out. Uh, you know, like I thought we would have got at least like a half a dozen snook, but uh, we only got the one and uh, thankfully it was, you know, a nicer size one, so I can't complain there. And uh, we caught that Barracuda actually on the incoming, and I've never done well here in this spot on the incoming tide. So, um, you know, I, I think our efforts, efforts are kind of just wasted, and, uh, you know, I just actually fished uh, through the rest of the bait. Like, I had like six or seven baits after we caught the Barracuda, and uh, had a couple other Barracudas followed in, and uh, had a couple other bites, which I think were possibly like small snappers or small jacks or something, but, um, you know, nothing crazy. So uh, I'm gonna head on out of here, and also uh, pretty soon I'm probably gonna be heading up north to do uh, a trip for a couple weeks. So if you're a northern uh, subscriber or viewer, then uh, definitely hit the subscribe button if you aren't already, so you can stay tuned for when I'm up there uh, catching striped bass, bluefish, fluke, uh, you know, flounder, and uh, possibly even you know getting out offshore maybe for some tuna or something. So um, definitely stay tuned, and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. And until the next video, live to fish, fish to live.